Hi guys, another ugly truth day <laughs> with my hair going all over and it's just another story of an old lady that's determined, 70 years old by the way, um, determined to build a house on the property out in what may be considered the wilderness, not real wilderness, but it's out here a bit. In fact, I was surprised when I found out there is electric <laughs> and Wi-Fi. But I am going to build something. And um, so the routine is I gather rocks on my way in from the side of the road. I do have a rock permit. And I bring it to help work on my driveway. And then I've got some quick creek underneath that tarp and some water so that we're all ready to set these posts, which after I set them all, I'll cut them to different lengths. I don't know if I'm going to work anymore on my rock wall today. Let's see, I got a post, oh, I got a hole there that I dug um, so that I can make this side and this side match. Oh, I did bring my glass bottles, so I think I'm going to do some... Well, you want to get in the picture, don't you? <laughs> I think I'm going to put some glass bricks in that rock wall. I went over here, put a few more fence posts in yesterday, or didn't put the post in, put the holes in so that I can put some posts in today. So... That typically is kind of a shorter fence than the other side. It's going to go short for a little bit longer, and then it's going to start getting taller through here and on these new holes because I may sit a little 10 by 12 in this spot. And actually, I did dig three holes here yesterday just to see how bad the ground was going to be there. Now, from here out towards that way, that way, that way, <laughs> um, it seems to be pretty solid rock. We've got that rock, but then even the ground here past these holes, it won't even go like an inch. So we're going to try to maybe put something here. And you can't be in the picture, are you parking? Because you want to be in the picture? Big culvert making a beautiful water sound. And then over on this side, look at this. Look at this. Oh, look how pretty. I don't know if you want to go in there. Yeah. You get rushed right down into that culvert. I don't think that would be very much fun. So this is a pretty cool campsite. I thought about last night, but I figured I'd better stay where there's more people and there wasn't anybody here last night or this morning. 
but this is nice. You could camp there and be close to listen to the water all night. Well, there's one sign up, and over here is where the driveway will come through from the street. So there's a big rock there that needs done. That'll need scraped out up through here. So it'll come up here and curve a little bit over this way and go along here a little bit. That tree will go. And that's the giant tree that's leaning. Hopefully they can get it to fall right down through here where it's open and not on that tree or the other tree. Those trees it wouldn't hurt, but I'd hate to lose that one. And then I'm piling all my stuff over here <laughs> where the tree might fall on it. So I've got a bunch of slab wood over here. I got it about half unloaded. There's my fence from Jill's and little pond liner. And I'm getting my, there's some underneath that tarp. So I'm getting it all stacked up. Oh, there. I've got another private property sign up over here. I have to get a little bit better about making, put my signs up straight. And then I've got a couple more signs, but I don't have any more trees down through there to put them on. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to fix them on the fence. Hi, Clovis. He's over there by the car, waiting for other cars. Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye. Okay, so that's a 9 by 12 tarp. And my little A-frame is going to be in uh, 10 by 12. So this is just a little bit smaller than what it will be. But got it laid out on the ground and the front of it will face that way towards that view and the driveway is going to come up through this way at an angle I almost have it marked out and I've got plans on a little fence there I'm going to show everybody and so the driveway will come up through there and the little A-frame will sit there facing that way. That's the stuff behind it. I guess the, there could be two sliding glass doors at each end and so one end will look into the woods and the other end will look on out over that way. That's the west. It'll be nice um, sunsets over there. Clovis is waiting for the cars to drive by so he can yell at them. Which I know is not a good habit, but ouch. He's still young. Hopefully he'll outgrow it. Anyway, I am so excited. I cannot believe I actually got the auger started. And I dug how many holes? <laughs> I think I dug. About seven holes maybe. So I've got to get my cups and get the loose dirt out. But I dug all these holes. I'll put pinch posts in them. And the next picture I'll show the fence up. <laughs> this is the old lady way. I'm sitting on my butt and there's all this wood here. And as I sit on my butt, I'm scooting down the hill or mountain and throwing it up <laughs> ahead of me. Some of these um, straighter ones like that is what I'm going to use for the fence posts. So that's what I'm working on right now. I just don't think you can quite tell how i got to do my driveway. I couldn't get any, find anybody to scrape it for me, so... Um, my friend, um, Charles, is going to help me. We'll put a culvert 
right in this area here. It goes lower. See that? You can't see any of that. So we'll put a culvert through there and then start hauling gravel in to kind of fill in that ditch there. And then it'll just drive on up the hill and park up there by the A-frame. That's the plan. Right through there. I'll have an after pictures one of these days. Okay, so I forgot to get the water as I was coming in to my property today so I could set the cement on my fence posts. So I had to run down here where the falls are to get a bucket of water. So I can go back and cement my fence post. Oh boy. Well, I'm working on my gate. That little fancy part there is when um, Cody was working yesterday. And they usually make an H by where the hinge is to give it extra support. But he put those things up instead. And I'm going to make a little rock wall underneath there that goes and joins into the fence over there. So that'll be my practice with making rock walls. And then the neighbor, Dr. J, gave me a, a crowbar so I could get that big rock out of the middle of the driveway that was in that hole there. So I gotta fill that with rocks. And I cut wrong and I cut a bunch of there it shows up better cut a bunch of as dead aspens that were in my aspen grove today so got those ready to go home and oh gosh seems like I've worked on something else <laughs> oh I dug um oh, one two three four five six about six holes so I can start putting more fence up um I think that one lay in there I gotta get put in for the other side of the gate. I gotta do that before I leave today. And then I'll put a few boards up over there. And then I'm gonna quit. <laughs> so talk to y'all later.
Okay, this one's for Anya because she never saw me pull the canvas out of the back of the truck with the rocks on it. Usually I just show me shoveling the rocks out, but when it gets to the end, I pull it on out. <laughs> 